our Python tutorial, please uh, go and open uh, Thony IDE. Uh, if you've just joined us, remember to remember to go on uh, video one and uh, uh, follow it through. See how you can download a Thony ID on your computer so that you can uh, follow through with us and learn uh, Python for beginners in a very uh, simple way. Okay, we're doing uh, Python data manipulation. All right, let's uh, carry on doing it. Just go there and uh, uh, save this file. I'll call it. Uh, uh, I'll call it data uh, manipulation. Data money manipulation. I'll call it three. Okay, data manipulation three. Save it. Okay. Right, so let me write A, uh, B, and C. A, B, and C. And let me plug this A, B, and C. I'll plug A, B, C, and D. So this is a, a strange uh, uh, data manipulation on Python. And I'll say okay the elements so let's just uh, add some comment here and this is how you add a comment hash sign or pound sign and then uh, i'll write a few comment here say find the index of element okay so by having uh these uh, variable here this variable here we can find the index of each and every letter on uh, this uh, 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 string all right now the way you do uh, the way you find the index in in Python is like this so if I write 0 3 there and uh, let me print this let me print this string uh, this uh, element here abc okay let me just print it and uh, it just uh, printed out so it's searching for 0 to 3 so 0 1 0 1 2 remember um, index starts on 0 so 0 1 2 it's a b c and that's what is been printed out is a b c now if I take everything out there and put plug in minus 1 and print and you can see minus one it came to the last element of this uh, ABC and uh, printed the last element which is D and we can do the same on uh, a minus two and so on and you can see minus two is printing uh, C there right and uh, if I plug in just two there, and you can see it's just taken by plugging just two, it's taking the first element and the second element. So zero one, which is two, zero one, uh, starting with zero index to one index. So it's taking one and two, A and B there. So this is how we can manipulate, we can change, we can say we start with 2 there in the beginning and run it and you can see it's changing to C, D. Yeah? So A and B and now it's doing 
C and D. So it's taking uh, minus uh, C and D there. Okay. So this is how uh, we can manipulate um, uh, data or in uh, Python. Now, as we carry on doing this, let's just uh, do something else. We can say x, uh, y, z. So x, y, z, I'll say is x, y, z is equal to, uh, let's just perform some uh, mathematical computation here, uh, just to showcase how uh, this is important. Right. Okay, uh, so I'll say, let me just say, A is equal 5, yeah, and I'll say, B is equal 6, and I'll say, D is equal, let me just say, uh, 7, okay? Now, I thought this is important to sh just showcase how uh, this works. Okay, so I'll say x uh, and I'll say a uh, plus b there. Say a plus b times so a plus b times d there. Let's just do this. So I'm saying this a plus b that's gonna be 11 and 11 we say times that 7 and that I mean just take this out and print x y z x y z and you can see there we have 7 7 And we can see that we have 77 there. And then what if we add, we say, minus A. So it's A plus B, A plus B times D and minus A. Run this. And then we see at 72 because A has been taken out there. So we can do some... Um, computation however we like it in uh, uh, Python and this is just a little example of how uh, this has worked out so in this vid video just um, to recap what we have done just learned how to manipulate uh, strings uh, in Python and finding the index of elements uh, different elements uh, on um, uh, Python and we've just learned how to do uh, data manipulations and uh, doing uh, computation mathematics computation uh, using uh, Python and this is the end of this video uh, let's stop here for now